In this video, we're gonna talk all about how to pick the right guitar or how to know if you have the right guitar if you already have a guitar. The number one thing is you want it to stay in tune. There's a lot of guitars out there that don't stay in tune. They're marketed as guitars, a lot of toy guitars, for example. This is a guitar, but it doesn't stay in tune, so what's the point? Especially if you really want your child to play. Most likely though, if you're not a child, you're playing an adult-sized guitar. Those can still be cheaply made too and go out of tune super easy. So the way you can find out if it stays in tune, if you already have a guitar or if you're in a music store, let's say, you're, you're in the market for a guitar. Tune the guitar, or if you don't know how to tune the guitar yet, in the music store, ask someone to tune it for you or watch the video in module one, how to tune a guitar. So you can figure out how to tune a guitar that way and tune it up and then strum it a bit. If you don't know how to play a chord, it doesn't matter, just strum it. And strum it in. My pick. And if it goes out of tune like that, you go to tune it again, you find the strings are not where they're supposed to be, then if it went out of tune that fast, you should probably have a different guitar. A lot of guitars that don't stay in tune, they'll literally go out of tune the moment you tune them or after playing them for a little bit. And you really don't want to have to tune it all the time. I mean, you can if you want to, but sometimes they'll go out of tune in the middle of a song. Like, you really don't want that. When you're trying to really learn guitar and play songs, you don't want to stop in the middle and have to tune your guitar. So, and if you need help, there's always, like, Guitar Center, for example, they have, they're have they so helpful. Don't be shy. Ask them, hey, what's a really affordable guitar here that stays in tune and has all the qualities that I'm about to tell you about? A new guitar should have the qualities that I say. Not all new guitars, though, will stay in tune. It depends. If it's a super cheap guitar, like cheap, 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 it might not. So you want to ask these questions like, First of all, like, will it stay in tune? You know, is it reliable in that way? Um, the action. The action is how high or low the strings sit on the guitar, on the, on the fretboard, okay? Mine are pretty good. I don't have to press down too hard to play the guitar. If your action is high, you really don't want that. That means the strings are farther away. They might be up here a little bit. That means you have to press hard, so much harder just to play and get a note out. And that will wear you out. That will make you want to quit before you even start. It's so hard to play. So if you already do have a guitar, you want to get that checked out. You know, especially if you feel like after practicing a while, it's like, man, I'm really struggling. You might want to get that checked out at a music store. And they'll tell you, you know, this this is a little too high. Or sometimes when it's a little too low that the strings are like more close to the fretboard, you'll hear a lot of buzzing sounds or a lot of dead sounds like, um, like this. And even if you're just with no hand on there, but you'll hear a, like dead sounds or buzzing sounds. And so you want to make sure the action is good, especially if it's too high, especially because as a beginner, you're already gonna have, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to press down the strings. You just don't want to have it be way more difficult than it has to be. Uh, so just know it will be challenging. It will, especially at first, but the act, like the action being super high is not going to help that whatsoever. So if you already have a guitar, you know, take it into a music shop if you're concerned that it might be too high and have them check it out and definitely, you know, ch test out the tuning. If you do have heavier strings on the guitar, it's going to make it a little harder to play. What I mean by that is string, the strings, the extra strings themselves come in like heavier, uh, like thicker, I guess, you, better word, thicker, more robust sound, but harder to press. Hurts the fingers a little bit more. They also come with super extra light, which are skinnier strings, but they kind of have more of a tinny sound. Not as full, not as, the lighter the string, the easier it's gonna be to press down, uh, but too light doesn't sound as good. But you can start with extra light if you want. I play light, 
strings just I think with my guitar I think it sounds great still and they're not the extra light will would be too light medium might be better but for a beginner I would say light light is light gauge strings are gonna be the best to start with so if you don't know what strings you have on your guitar yet it's fine you know you just play with the strings you've got honestly heavier strings even though they're a little harder to play, it will make you a better guitar player later. It'll make going to any other guitar seem easy. And it will, it'll strengthen your hand so much faster um, if you really want to do that. But eventually you're going to want to change your strings. You want to change your strings depending on how much you play kind of often. So when you do change your strings, if you don't know if you have heavy strings or not yet, or if you don't know if the guitar you buy has that, then when you, uh, like a month from now or two months, depending on how much you play, you go to change the strings, which I'll show you, then you're gonna wanna put on light strings, okay? But if you already know you have light strings, you're good. Through my experience with teaching hundreds of students so far, light gauge strings are really great to start with. You can always up it from there. But if you already have a heavier gauge string, it's not gonna be the end of the world either. And another thing is you wanna make sure you have all six strings on your guitar. You want all six strings. So if you're missing a string, you're gonna wanna get the, a string to replace it and put it on because what we're gonna do, we're gonna use all six strings. So we want all of them. You also wanna make sure you have all your frets, okay? So these, these are called frets, these things. Sometimes guitars, older guitars, you know, maybe they've been, they've been used a lot, traveled a lot they might be missing one or two or whatever. You, you It was a hand-me-down. So you wanna make sure if any of these are missing, you're gonna want those, okay? So make sure that you, you just bring it to a guitar shop, have them fix that up for you because that's probably a little bit too complicated for a beginner to do on their own. And even the strings too, I'm going to be posting a how to change your strings video, but I know a lot of beginners don't even wanna do that themselves. You can easily take it to a music shop and they'll do it for a pretty low price and it's not, it's not that pricey of a thing if you don't wanna do it yourself. But I will include a video in this where you can, if you really want to. I changed my own strings, but at first I didn't. I would have other people do it. As we progress, you know, we can, you know, do what we wanna do. We can keep taking it to the music shop or do it ourselves. It just depends on what you prefer, but you can do both. Taking it to music shop will be a little bit more pricey just because you have to pay for the strings and for them to do it, but it's still really not that expensive if you don't feel like changing your own strings. You also want to make sure you have the right size and fit for the guitar. If you just have a guitar sitting around and you want to play it, that's fine. You don't need to make sure it's this or that. But if you're going to buy a guitar, I'm a smaller person. I'm five foot two. So if I, I have another guitar, where is it? Right here. This acoustic guitar is pretty large. <laughs> I have this ring light, so you're going to see the reflection here. But this is pretty, this is a pretty large, thicker guitar. Okay, this is um, this is a little big for me, especially when I'm playing shows and stuff. I can still use it. It's just kind of uncomfortable. It hurts. It kind of I have to stretch my arm farther. At, and you know, if you're not like five foot two like me, then you're you're gonna be fine with a guitar like this, or probably any guitar. If you're taller and you have longer arms and stuff, it's not gonna really matter as much what guitar because you're going to be able to reach around whatever guitar you might feel more comfortable though with a larger guitar it just depends uh, but for smaller people like me you know reaching around this it really wears on my arm and after a while you know it's just I don't love playing this guitar okay I still will play it I don't love it this one that was my guitar before I realized man I need a smaller one so this one's thinner a little bit thinner and it's just the body is smaller and all that. And I, I like this um, right here where you can go all the way up the fretboard if you want to. So that's kind of a nice thing to have if you want. So it's, it's a cutaway. So you, there's also different, these are full-size guitars, even though like they're thicker or this or that, you know, they're, they, they're still both full-size guitars. They just have a different feel. So that's why kind of if you're gonna go buy a guitar in the music store it is nice to go there and literally the, what i did is i played every single acoustic and this is before i really played guitar well like i probably played the same chord on everyone like, what does it sound like what does it feel like you know i i bought this guitar what um uh, 
2003. So 20 years ago, I bought this guitar. This is my second guitar. Actually, this is my third guitar. I don't remember. But this one was my first, um, the first guitar I ever bought myself. And then I think a year, two years later or something, I bought this one. I've had this one for 20 years. And I knew after having the bigger one, I wanted one that fit better and felt better. And so I spent time in that store. And it was so great. I had the acoustic rooms there. If you want an acoustic guitar anyway, you could sit in there by yourself if there's no one else there and just have it be private so you don't feel weird. You know, it was, it was, it was perfect for me. So I felt weird at the time. I felt like I didn't know anything. So if you feel like you don't know anything, it's fine. And everyone has started somewhere. Even if you run into an amazing guitar player, they started exactly where you are. So you don't have to feel weird because you're just at the beginning of the journey that they're already on. Also, if you're gonna play an electric guitar, if you have an electric guitar and that's what you prefer to learn on, I would recommend having an amp because electric guitars can uh, sound very quiet and thin without an amp because that's what they're made for. They're made for being amplified. So if you have an amp, it doesn't matter how great it is. As long as you can hear the guitar, you can turn it up, hear the guitar, distort it when you want, whatever, it's, it's pretty cool. If you don't have one, it's not necessary, but when you go to sing and play, if you are wanting to sing and play, playing the electric without an amp, it's, it's just gonna be harder to hear how you're playing along with your, your voice. So I just recommend getting an amp, even if it's a cheap one at first. So, okay. If your guitar doesn't have all these qualities though, learning won't be impossible, but it may make it more challenging. So if you're in the market for a guitar, look at used ones first if you want. You can try them out just like how I said, uh, because you usually can get a great deal on a nice guitar if it's used, or if you're looking to buy a new one, just know that some guitars are so cheaply made that they're almost guaranteed to have some sort of issues. So you just wanna look at reviews, maybe you know talk to the a person that plays guitar in the store. The guitar you have could greatly impact your motivation to play and your uh, how much how frustrated you get when you play. So make sure at the very least that you have the right action and the strings are in tune. I think that's the most thing, the the most important things. And then you're good to go, and you won't have all the added frustration that comes with the wrong guitar. I don't think I've seen very many bad guitars in my day, but I've taught hundreds of students and there occasionally was times where they came in with a guitar that I felt so bad. They, they were excited to play it and I'm like, you, you can, but it's not gonna be as fun. So just make sure that you're starting off on the right foot and you have a great guitar to start with that doesn't have to be expensive, but just good quality enough to sound great.